The 2015-2016 U.S. Youth Soccer National League Boys season kicked off Thursday in North Carolina as 80 of the nation's top teams began their pursuit of berths to the 2016 National Championships. Defending national champion Baltimore Celtic kicked off its first National League season with a 3-1 win over Region 3 champion South Carolina United in the Under-14 Blue Division. Teddy Najai gave Baltimore an early lead when he slid his fourth-minute shot past the keeper, and Peter Mangione doubled the lead with a left-footed blast to the near post. Najai later powered a shot around the keeper to push the advantage to 3-0 before half. South Carolina had the upper hand in the second half, and it pulled a goal back when Damon Williams found the back of the net in the 69th minute. That was as close as it would get as Celtic earned the 3-1 victory. Under-14 boys Penn Fusion 01 Elite of Eastern Pennsylvania kicked off its Blue Division campaign against local side Castle 01 Red of North Carolina. Penn Fusion controlled possession most of the first half, but couldn't break through the solid Castle defense and the game went into halftime at zeros. The second half was more of the same and the Pennsylvania side came close when it saw an early shot ring off the crossbar. However, both teams' defenses continued to hold and the game finished in a scoreless tie as each team earned one point on the opening day of play. Region 1 champion McLean OO Green of Virginia opened its National League season with a 4-0 win over Fullerton Rangers OO White of California South in the under-15 Blue Division action. William Blake found the back of the net five minutes into the game to spot McLean an early lead, and Daniel Diaz Bonilla doubled the advantage in the 12th minute. Diaz Bonilla added a second tally after the break, and teammate Yasin Elkaloon capped the scoring in the 68th minute. The McLean defense did its part as it recorded a clean sheet in a complete team performance to open the season. In the under-16 Blue Division, Sporting KC Academy of Kansas and Fuster FC of Maryland met Thursday in a rematch of the 2015 National Championship Final. Fuster, the 2015 runner-up, came out firing in the opening half and went ahead on Benjamin Stitt's 12th-minute goal. The Maryland side continued its pressure and added two more tallies as Adrian Avanieta and Alejandro Arbeliz each found the back of the net before the half. It was a different story after the break as Sporting KC responded with goals from Mike Keon and Jonathan Munez to pull within one. After a sporting player was taken down in the box, Keon converted a 68th minute penalty kick to level the score. Fuster had a few great chances in stoppage time, but the Kansas City keeper made a couple of key saves to help his side hold on for a 3-3 tie. It was a big second half uh, from my group. Um, playing in National League is, uh, is a pretty exciting experience uh, for them. Um, so it was great to, to be able to get a point. Maybe could have slipped away at the end, um, but we also had a few opportunities to put the game away as well. So it's good for us to, to be, be out here and hopefully we can uh, have some good results and, and play into, uh, into the national final. So. Defending national champion Baltimore Celtic 98-99 of Maryland had its hands full with the Region 2 champion Sporting St. Croix of Minnesota as the two sides played to a 1-1 draw to open their under-17 Blue Division campaigns. St. Croix generated some early pressure, but Baltimore grabbed the first half lead when Jonathan Molina found the back of the net in the 24th minute. The Minnesota side continued to threaten Celtic's back lines as it looked for an equalizer, and Antonel Claremont delivered in the 82nd minute to force the 1-1 draw and split the points between the two sides. In the Under-17 Red Division, 2015 national finalist Seattle United 98 Copa of Washington played to a 3-3 draw with Loudoun 98 Red of Virginia. The, the goal obviously was to get three points, um, but to be honest, against a good team like that, a point is, is not a bad result. Um, you know, the first game of the tournament is, is so, so important in terms of confidence and, 
and everything. So I think, although, the, although we ended the game on a downer, I think you know we can take some confidence away from it. The Washington side jumped out to a 2-0 advantage after Samuel Agosti and Vincent Contreras each found the back of the net in the first half. Loudon responded after the break as 2015 Golden Ball winner Giovanni Vasquez netted two goals to pull the Virginia side level. Seattle responded immediately with a great Lucas King strike that beat the keeper and dipped under the bar. However, Loudon once again came back as Vasquez dribbled into the box and created a chance that Reese Cook pounced on to beat the keeper and earn the 3-3 draw. It, it makes us better um, as individuals and as players, as a coach. Um, you know, every game is, is big. I mean, every team is good. You know, and you don't always see that where, where we're at. Um, we're fortunate, we, we do live in a good soccer community, but, it, but anytime you can take your, the competitive side to another level, um, it, helps us, it helps us become a better team and, and hopefully we'll, we'll have good results. Follow the moments throughout the National League season on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.